Jersey City Board of Education candidate Natalia Ayufi, the vice president of a child advocacy parent group for public school number 16, explain to us why she's the best candidate for the job ahead of the November 8th general election. The vice president of the Concerned Parents Association of the Cordelia F. Bradford Elementary School, a board she served on for four years, Iofi says her success there will translate well to a seat on the Board of Ed. The reason I want, I did, I've decided to run this year for the Board of Education is because we have managed in working for our school to gain a very rich experience in terms of helping the children and the teachers of our school and subsequently this district. We have managed to build a lot of amazing bridges um, in, in spreading all the good uh, practices that we have built and to be able to empower other parent leader teams and schools to do to do what we've done and to help them find new and other innovative ways to help their schools. The percentage of the uh, children from low-income families in our school has dropped below a certain percentage, which no longer entitles our school to state aid for enrichment and after-school programs. So what we have done, however, now having said that, it doesn't mean that we do not have low-income children in our schools. We, in our school, we do. There's just a lower percentage of them. So we've decided to pull our resources together as parents and to build our own after-school program run by our own volunteer resources and uh, subsidized by our own funds that we raise as a parent, parent council community. She also noted that the CPA board works closely with the district administration and their management on various endeavors such as providing classrooms with air conditioners and school supplies. When asked about how she plans to bring back civility and decorum to the board, Iofi said all nine trustees need to keep their eyes on the ultimate goal, providing the best education possible for the students. There is still a way to look at every school and every team. If we look at every school as a team, to look at them individually and to understand their individual needs, as long as people manage to understand and, and to keep the children's needs as a priority, they should be able to work together. Iofi later stated that she believes Superintendent of Schools Dr. Marsha Lyles is doing a good job of keeping the educational standards and morale of students high, though also said complacency still exists in the school district. Some of the things that are going well in this district, I really respect what the superintendent has been doing in terms of keeping the standards very high, both the educational standards and the vision for the children that they really can accomplish anything. That is why I, I really oppose the, the concept of setting our children up to fail, so to speak, whether it's with certain you know, educational standards or testing, regardless of what happens in the educational system nationwide, statewide, we must never tell a child that you are being set up to fail because that kind of those words are, is what will set them up to fail. The negatives, I would say, is complacency. Again, in every workplace, not just the public sector, but I think that people must never become too comfortable in what they're doing, if that makes sense. I think they should always strive for better standards in terms of work ethic. Because, again, consider what's at stake. This is children's future and children's health and, and as long as every single person who works in this district keeps that in mind, I'm sure we can succeed. And that is something, I don't know to what extent I would be able to, but that is something that I would hope to influence to whatever extent I'm allowed. Finally, despite a lot of commotion and controversy in the early portion of the election cycle, Iofi said she believes Jersey City voters will still ultimately select the three best candidates for the job. I think people know exactly what they want and I think they should be allowed to make their own choices. And I will respect their choices, whatever they are. The reason why I think would be a good candidate is because I believe very much in diplomacy and I believe in very much in hard work. I have been volunteering for the past three years plus for our school. We have been able to accomplish quite a bit for our school. And the rewards are so... Basically, it's so fulfilling when you when you do something for the kids and you see the results right away. Scott Hodes with the Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.